a fantastic example of a EM6910 uh, Sunbeam Cafe Series Twin Thermo Block coffee machine. Bought new in 2006 and I ended up buying the grinder separately before they became a sort of a package thing for something like $700. The group head, uh, the collar has been replaced and I've replaced the seal a couple of times. This is a seal that blew very spectacularly the other day. It's now in a couple of pieces. You can see it's badly torn there. So I couldn't find an instructional on how to actually fit them. So I'm going to show you how, how I've done it. And the first thing I do is take out the, um, the water jug so that when I tip this on its side you're not going to have litres of water splashing everywhere. Now the other modification, you can see there, November 2010, that I made was to build a little insert that just sits in there like that. The water then pours in through the, uh, the, the filter because uh, I was making coffee one day and I saw a bleached white cockroach which is utterly, utterly friggin vile in the bottom of the water carrier. So a, cock a cocky had crawled in here somehow. Uh, it was nice and warm in the back of the machine and had died and I'd basically been drinking eau de cockroach uh, through my coffee for enough time to bleach all of the colour out of the carapace. So tip for young players, don't let cockroaches into your water coffee, into your coffee. So the old girl's tipped on the back. Just need a Phillips head screwdriver. Rotate that counterclockwise and you're probably going to need a screwdriver like a flat blade just to pop that out and gently like so now I've already got put the new seal in but I'm going to show you how it goes in and I'm going to show you how because what people complain about is when they put it in um, that it still leaks everywhere so I am going to work out, how, well I have worked out how to, how to avoid it and I remembered it from the last time I did this years ago. These things just do not want to come out. So there is the new seal that you can see. I'll clean it up a bit but Basically, what, what I'm trying to get off is all of this crap on the underside. So, you can probably see it there. You've got to scrape all of that gunk off the, uh, off the bottom. The other thing that people comment on is uh, this little brass concoction here is quite, um, quite gentle. So, you, you, if you're trying to pull, uh, unscrew that to clean the um this part here clean up in the inside and, and replace the uh the steam pump um be really careful not to shear that off when you first start digging around under here you'll see that the, the basically this seat is covered in crap so you've got to use a flat blade screwdriver like this just to scrape it off and then what i'm going to basically use is a, a scotch bright just a scourer soaked in water just to basically clean this off so that it's clean. And these are the two filter components that basically retain the coffee and, and allow you to create the pressure. And they're going to both need a really good clean as well. So um, again, just even an old toothbrush will do the trick, but and I'll show you how these go back together. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so time for reassembly. You've got a top part and you've got a bottom part. So basically, these go like that. So and that has to sit um, face up inside. Inside the seal like so and this cupping arrangement has to sit on top of it like that and then the little um, screw 
goes on top of that. You've got to push them together so they sit inside each other. And you can see that it's right when it's basically flush around the perimeter. And then that gets gently pushed in there and then screw together. And don't over tighten this screw because if you stuff it, you'll never get anything out again. You can see I'm just tightening that up just with the. This is my left hand. There we go. And hopefully you can see that around the edge that's pretty flush and looks pretty good. signs of life. First thing I always do is flush all the water out of the steam wand. Now the other thing, this is uh, straight out of the manual for the EM6910, page 30, cleaning the group head. So basically, here we go, uh, page 31, sorry, starting the cleaning cycle. So, simultaneously press the single and the double espresso button and briefly press the power button. So I'm going to do that and run the cleaning cycle. Alright, so the coffee machine off, you press these two together and press the power button. And this is the cleaning cycle. And this goes for 10 minutes. First try with a new seal. Fail. Quarter filter is slightly overpacked and the grind is too fine. And the group head collar is worn out. The new seal has to bed in. This takes a few shots, so be prepared to drop a few. Second try was a failure again. Obviously it still leaks. Third try, much better. Now, I've made about 15 coffees since the seal change and even with a worn out group collar, I stopped the pre-shot at pre-infusion. This releases a bit of water into the quarter filter. Then I stop again, re-tighten the handle, and start the shot again. Sometimes it's in one-shot auto mode, and sometimes in full manual. It just depends on the day, and depends on how I'm feeling, how many coffees I've made, blah, blah, blah. So this was done about a week later uh, from the initial filming and the grind is really really fine even though I put new shims in the grinder, here we go, you can still see a little bit of leaking but generally it's the seal is bedded in and it's making pretty good coffee and for a 15 year old machine that I'm probably going to replace it's look it's worth the $10 to put a new seal in for sure.